a very good afternoon to you, Crispus. Well, the market ending in negative territory in today's uh, trading session, but when you look at uh, turnover, uh, turnover has been pretty robust this week. Yeah, uh, there's been there, that's that's been a fact in the in the past couple of weeks. I mean, in the last couple of days, we've seen turnover increasing, though it has not been it it, it, it has not been uh, with a much uh, with a corresponding increase in price. Uh, really, if you look at it, uh, you'll see that the turnover may increase uh, because of uh, uh, increased foreign investor interest on a couple of counters, not so many counters. That is why we have the market coming up to. That is why we have the turnover being uh, being inversely proportional to the to the price. Looking at some of the stocks in today's trading session, we had Sassini up uh, uh, up. Uh, down 2.58 percent and on the other hand uh, Kukuzi which plays in the same sector uh, down 4.29 uh, percent. Could you talk us through why that is? An interesting fact about those two shares is that uh, they, are, they, are, they are both on the same counter and they have exposure to, to, the, to the same market, uh, I mean to the, to the same sector in the economy that is agricultural. I find that a bit interesting but, but, but then again if you see uh, both of those shares are speculators havens. So I guess I would put it to to maybe profit taking on uh, on Kakuzi. I, I mean to pro, to uh, speculative behavior on both of the counters. Really, I don't think there'll be much. If you if you look at Kakuzi, it's a counter that I consider to be closely held. I mean, their free float is not that much. So uh, really, again, if you are to interpret any price movements, you have to look at it vis-a-vis -vis the turnover. Also looking at the banking sector, there has been a lot of interest within the banking sector. We did have KCB uh, moving about 8.3 million shares in today's trading session. Equity Bank as well, uh, 2.98 uh, shares have been moved on that front. What are you making of all this interest that we are seeing currently on the banks? Uh, the, in, fact, in fact, for the last two years, the banking sector has been the driver of growth. We've seen, uh, we've, we've seen bank the banking sector being resilient even when the economy is expected to underperform. Uh, we are seeing a situation whereby banks are still posting uh, major profits, especially if you look at the Taiwan banks. Uh, uh, that, for me, as a, if, if to be a good investor, I would be looking at the banking sector still. So really, that is nothing new. I, I expect the interest to continue, uh, especially on, the, uh, on KCB and equity bank. And if we look uh, at the uh, fixed income market, we have uh, seen uh, yields uh, coming up in terms of the Treasury bond uh, yields. Your thoughts on the outlook for bond yields going forward? Uh, really, I wouldn't say yields are coming up, but I'd say that uh, we've got the TV yields have come up in the, in, the last two, in the last auction this week. Again, uh, we saw the 15-year year paper uh, being, a, being a bit oversubscribed. Going forward, I expect interest to be focused solely, to be focused mainly on the 15-year paper. Uh, the infrastructure bonds and other papers are likely to take a box it. We have seen the central bank mopping up uh, liquidity in the market over the past a few days. Now, could we see the central bank's intervention possibly pulling back, given the fact that we could see yields rising from here on? Uh, I expect uh, the central bank to come back in again, but moderately. Uh, remember now the focus is not the focus is not now on strengthening the shilling, but uh, uh, but now economic growth. So really, I expect central bank participation in in the in the repo market to be minimal. Well, it's all about the week ahead. Now uh, we here in South Africa have got a four-day week, but in Kenya it's pretty much a five-day week. Uh, looking at the market uh, down in today's trading session, what kind of trade can we see coming through in the next week's trading session? Uh, next week again, I expect focus to be on the banking sector, uh, as as we have as people who've been buying this week will be looking to 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 to, to either continue buying or 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 to or to or to actualize their gains in the coming week. But mostly activity should be centered on the banking sector. I'm focusing on KCB, equity, and uh, maybe Barclays, a bit of Barclays and Cooperative Bank. Other stocks uh, despite the banking sector at this stage? Uh, maybe a bit of KPLC. Well, that's where we have to leave it. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. That was uh, Chris Biz Ortieno. He's the dealer at AIB Capital, joining us from our studios in Nairobi.